easy opt-in page example. So this is John with Online Verve and I want to show how some examples and also show you quickly how you can make some very easy opt-in pages. Sometimes they're also called squeeze pages or landing pages. Uh, but really, you know, opt-in page where people are going to opt in by giving you their email address in exchange for some kind of free giveaway. So this is a uh, one of the rules with squeeze pages is that simple works better. So uh, they tend to convert better. You want to ask for less information, i.e. only email. Um, when you start asking for names and phone numbers and addresses, uh, people are not willing to give that. Um, and so this is a very simple opt-in page that I use. This usually converts well over 30%, um, as high as 50% at times. And, um, you know, people can, you know, it's got a little visual on it, uh, you know, a headline to grab their attention, you know, uh, some verbiage to, uh, you know, uh, give them some hope, <laughs> you know, um, as well as, you know, a little mystery, you know, the insider secrets, um, making money online fast. The call to action, enter your email, and then, um, you know, go, always good to have a green button because green is go. So, and, and also, a you know, declarative statement, yes, send my free report. And this is a very simple um, opt-in page that can be made uh, quickly and easily. So a lot of people sometimes get uh, overwhelmed. They feel like they need to buy fancy software. Um uh, such as ClickFunnels or other, ex you know, very expensive software, or they think they need to, you know, have a domain and hosting and learn WordPress and uh, learn Elementor or buy these other, you know, fancy page builder programs. And those all work, so I'm not knocking those. Um, but they definitely can have a learning curve. There can be some cost involved, etc. And so I just want to show you how you can make a very simple, easy opt-in page that converts very well and um, is really, really simple. So what I do is, let me go, uh, for an opt-in page, no matter whether you use something fancy and expensive or something simple like what I'm going to show you, you do have to have an email autoresponder. An email autoresponder is what allows you to, you know, create the opt-in form so you can collect a person's email and it's what allows you then to um, create and send out automated messages and so that's the beauty of this you collect their email and then the autoresponder just sends out automated messages so you could load up your autoresponder with you know 20 50 100 emails and they'll just automatically be sent out by the autoresponder so then all you need to do is focus on getting people to give you their email and then the autoresponder can do the rest. Um, in a separate video I'm going to show you how you can um, use a piece of software to create some upsell offers so that after people give you their email that's a great time to present them with you know something to buy. Um, and so I'll, sh uh, I'll show you in that video there's a software that you can easily create upsell offers even if you don't have your own product. It's, and, uh, it really works great by using other people's products. So, but how do you make this? Well, I really only recommend for online work uh, one of two um, email autoresponders, either Aweber, which is who I currently use, or um, GetResponse. They both uh, work very well. Um, they're both friendly to affiliate marketing and um, they're just the best. Uh, you could, you know, there are there are other options, but most of them do not like you to put affiliate links in their email messages, and they will shut down your account without any warning. So, how do you create a simple message? You know, uh, select the list that you want to work in in Aweber. Get response. It's it's very similar, a little different, but uh, you can figure it out. And then you just want to go. They do have landing pages in both kind of pre-made um, template landing pages in both. Aweber and in GetResponse, and so you know you can see if there's one of these that you like to use. To be honest, it takes actually more work, <laughs> in my opinion, to try to manip manipulate these into a way that you want to use it. And so this is instead the method I do is this: go to Sign Up Forms, and let's create a sign up form, and we're going to make this very simple autoresponder. So uh, this opt-in page, I'm sorry, inside the autoresponder. So I just go and use this simple template. So load that. 
And then I get rid of this header box, the name box, this uh, power by Aweber, and this footer. So now you're just left with a simple email opt-in with a submit button. So the first thing I do is just change the submit button to say what I want it to say. I found that this phrase works well. Uh, yes, because that's a you know positive and a declarative sentence, semi-free report. I'm going to change the color of the button. You know, some people you know suggest maybe red because it's attention grabbing, but I've always liked the green because uh, green is go, right? Green is money. Green is has a lot of positive connotations, uh, where sometimes red can be seen as a warning or a stop. Um, I increase the text size. You have some different you know fonts. Pick what you like. You know, this is I think kind of friendly. Let's save it, and then let's stretch this out. Okay, so stretch it out to full width. Now, for this part up here, the way I do it is I make a simple graphic. So I'm in my Usine account. Usine is a uh, so Usine is a simple graphics creator. You could do the same thing in Canva. Really, anything. Uh, I recommend you know starting with a blank uh, 500 by 500 pixels wide by 500 pixels high. You know, import the graphic of the free report. You know, import your text and then save this as a JPEG image. And then once you have that saved, you can go back into your autoresponder. Let's add an image. Go to your image gallery, upload it, click on it, uh, center it, save it, and then you do need to drag this up so that it'll show up on top of the email and um, the bu uh, submit button. And so that's it. And then you just save it and you go to step number two, which is where you designate your thank you page. Or um, you do want to rename this because this is what will show up in the browser tab. So I just usually call it free report. And then you can use the Aweber thank you page, but this is ideally where you want to go in and, and um, put in upsell offers. And so again, I'm going to create a separate video that shows you how to use a very simple software that um, will help you create upsell offers that you can put here. And then you just save it, go to step three, get your link, and then boom, that is your simple opt-in page. Uh, it's going to be hosted by Aweber. Um, so they're going to host it for you, so you don't need to have, that's why, that's why you don't need a domain. You don't need hosting, you don't need WordPress, you don't need any of these other things, because Aweber is going to host it for you, and um, they're your hosting. So I hope that helps. Um, if, if you like it, please click the like button. I appreciate it. Uh, give me a thumbs up. That'd be great. If you want to see how to make the uh, upsell offers to go so, so that people will see those after they opt in and click submit, then please uh, go check out that video. I'll leave um, a link below or just search through on my channel. Thanks for watching.